I can't <laughs> wait for the weekend now, McGinn. <laughs> McGinn. <laughs> Who's not Ireland's not making? Up the last few trips, I think Gavin White's got the ability to be number one. Ah. Uh, it's got a bit of trickery about him. Try. But I did get George today in training, one very happy. That was a good one too. Which player is never off their phone? Don't want to get anyone in any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh no, there's only one answer. <laughs> coffee club? Oh, well, he is a member of the coffee club. There's about five of them that sit and have coffee and they don't talk to each other. Just talk to yeah, on their phones. Uh, unless they're texting each other. Big cow. <laughs> <laughs> so he's in your head. Of course. Who's the number one gamer in the squad? Boise. Even ahead of you? Oh, I don't game that much. He's, every time you go in the room, they're on FIFA. Uh, to be fair, I don't bring the PlayStation or anything. There's a few lads who or in their rooms. Boise. The PlayStation's quite a lot, but you're... Connor, Mc, Connor McLaughlin and Sav. They're always on Call of Duty in their rooms. They even bring another TV so they can play it on two TVs. We play a lot of uh, games on the travel on the Boston Gate. Craig's uh, always... Stickman Golf. They, th they see his second as like winning now. <laughs> That's what it's come down to. <laughs> right, best player you've ever played with in Northern Ireland. I'll have to go for Devo. I think from the first time I've come across for, since the first time in this squad, he's been most consistent and produced some unbelievable performances. Are you reading that off there? Yeah. <laughs> well, I had this written down earlier. Which squad member is always singing and what's a go to song? You sing quite a lot, like. But what Craig does, uh, Craig doesn't sing like the average lyrics. He always changes the lyrics up to suit whatever situation we're in. He's got a good, uh, he's, yeah, he's got like a great imagination. Like he'll just drop someone's name into these lyrics. Uh, um, I made a uh, Now I'm Again song. If Northern Ireland fans want to take it, like I can't <laughs> wait for the weekend. Now I'm again, <laughs> McGinn. It's not bad, like it's it's, not bad, eh? if you're clapping all with it. What was the other one you had? With the blue one. Back what was it? Big cards on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favourite. Go on. Big cards on the ball. Get big card off the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go for a Chinese or Indian takeaway? Six, seven years ago it was Indian, but now Chinese almost every Saturday night. I think Northern Ireland has got the best Chinese takeaways, so like uh -huh. anywhere you go, like obviously we live in England, like I find Northern Ireland and Manchester are pretty similar, but like, I can't find a good one down south. But well, I think we whenever don't go you come home, zones. there's always good Chinese takeaway every, every corner. Uh, every, like, who's the biggest joker in the squad? Probably Kyle. To the, point where, where the point, to the point where it could be a bit annoying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, does our friendship go out the window for 90 minutes when we face each other in the prem? Aye, uh, because the only time we see each other is like corners. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's hard to, 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 after the game, like especially yeah. when you go shake hands, it's hard to like have a little chat, but we can speak to each other inside after. Yeah. But for the first obviously 10, 15 minutes after the game, you're still emotions and that are running high, so you just sort of well dominate. Yeah, especially it. if you lose, you don't want to speak to anybody. <laughs>